Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 2, Strategic Financial Management. In the previous session, we discussed about the professional ethics, which are to be you know, followed by the management accountants. The professional ethics are set by the IMA, the Institute of Management Accountants. We discussed about the standards, the principles, the standards, and we also discussed about the resolution of ethical conflicts. Now, in this session, we'll discuss about the ethical considerations for the organization. We clearly discussed about the individuals working for the organization, what standards, that ethical considerations that are to be followed. And here, the organizations, because even uh, an individual is very, you know, innocent. He doesn't tolerate any wrong things, but sometimes the companies may influence the candidates, influence the managers to do certain things which are illegal. So what ethical, ethical considerations that are to be you know followed by the organizations the first act the legal aspects of the ethical considerations include the foreign corrupt practice act in simple please understand that this is an anti-bribery act set up in 1977 the objective of this act is prohibit any kind of questionable payments that are made by a corporate. Questionable payment means for every payment from a corporate, the reason for the payment. So there should be some kind of reason for every payment from the company. So if any payment is made to get some kind of illegal advantage, and there is no proper answer for that particular payment. It is called a bribe. Person who is involved in that and the company which encouraged the person to pay will be held liable for that. So you as a manager are influenced by the company to pay a certain amount to any political party or representative of political party or any individual or any other corporations to get some kind of business or to you know renew your business or to get some kind of advantage of course it's not for you but it's for the company yes it will be treated as bribe so the foreign corrupt practice act prohibits any kind of questionable payments that are made to the foreign companies representatives political parties, representatives of the political parties or anybody which is not related to the business. Or the payment is not related to the business. What usually, you know, uh, uh, the payments made by the companies on? Yeah, we pay to the vendors, we pay to the staff, you know, employees, the wages, you know, salaries, we pay utilities, we pay rents, we pay, you know, the interest, we pay dividends. Yes, these are all you know, legal. These are the operating expenses. These are the capital capital expenses related to the business. But any payment which is made by a company, which is not part of the day-to-day -day operation of the business, is called a bribe. So, any questionable payments, any questionable payments, there should be a disclosure that what is the purpose of the payment right if we come across that this payment is not for the main operations of the business then it will be treated as bribe there is an act called fcpa foreign corrupt practices act that prohibits the payment of bribes to the foreign officials yeah political parties the representatives of the political parties 
So make sure that you are not involved in this. Make sure that you are not influenced by your company in payment of this kind of questionable payments. Why? Because the legal framework, the FCPA, will punish both individuals and the company for making the payments. So you cannot say that that the, this amount is, you know, uh, from the company. And I'm just a representative representative of my company paying this amount. No. So any amount paid by you or sanctioned by you, approved by you, authorized by you will be treated as bribe. And the person who involved in this and the company will be subject to some kind of legal action. All right. So this particular act is applicable to any individual who involved in that it can be a firm officer director employee agent whoever it is the moment the act realizes that it is a questionable payment and it will be treated as bribe okay so in this act we need to know the two provisions what are those two provisions one that what are your regular payments regular payments on various activities of the business. You will have vendors, yes, payments are there. You will have banks, financial institutions, you will pay the EMIs, repayment of loans, yeah, you have operating expenses, you have some purchase of investments, assets, etc. payments on them, then any dividends, etc. Yes, perfect. But any amount with a corrupt intent, when a corrupt intent is involved in that, it will be treated as bribe. This is called this is called anti-bribery provision. And the company, the corporate, has to maintain the complete, accurate, and reliable accounting records that proves that yes, this is related to the business transactions. You need to prove that in all material aspects. The particular payment is for purely business transaction. This is called accounting provisions. Please note two points here. Anti-bribery provisions. Anti-bribery provisions. And accounting provisions. Anti-bribery provisions. We see that any payment with a corrupt intent when it is paid, the person, individual, Involved in this and the corporate both will be held liable and accounting provisions say that the, the payments the payments should have you know complete the reliable accounting records supporting documents so that we can prove that this is a paid based on the nature of the business transactions accounting provisions and anti-bribery provisions make sure you know about these two